Hey guys, John Dyes here. I uh, got off the phone with Dell a few minutes ago and the craziest thing just happened. You guys won't believe this. We got to turn it off, 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 turn it off. We got to turn it off, go, 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 go. It has to be like this. So this is a Dell Optiplex 7010. Windows 7, i3, DVD burner, uh, grew up the specs there, 4 gig of RAM, nothing too shabby, right? Kind of cool with that. The uh, bad part is bad hard drive, right? No big deal, bad hard drive, just replace it. But while I was installing drivers on this thing, I found out that it's under warranty for a month till May 12th. I call in a service request. Had a couple people on the phone listening with me and for the service request. But call in the service request and say I have a bad hard drive. My hard drive died. They said, well, we need the Dell code. I open up the machine. I mean, I crack it open. I slip the disc in and I put it on, get the Dell code, give it to him. He goes, okay. He goes, I show you have a 500 gig drive in here. I said, no, no, it's only a, it's only a 250. So I don't know if you can see that very well. It's a 250. So I was like, it's just a 250. I don't want to get charged if you send me a 500. I'm only sending a 250 back. Let me look into it. Read me the number, the very long Dell number. I forgot what he called it. Um, right there, that really long one that includes a Dell part number on it. I said, okay, sure. Here you go. He goes, I don't understand. All right, we've approved it. We're gonna give you a 250. Okay, cool. So I go about it, no big deal, no big deal. I said, you know, I'm just so confused. I have a 500 gig hard drive that's bad from another identical unit. I'm like, man, I could have got a 500 gig drive, but I did what was in the machine. I was being honest and I lucked out. So, customer service may not be dead, Carlos, but uh, they were definitely very good on the Dell line today. Um, I don't remember the gentleman's name, but he took care of us, no problem, no questions asked, great thing. Uh, so we got a free hard drive coming. So a 250 gig laptop hard drive, for a Dell 7010 unit. So we got that unit um, out of recycling and we're gonna get a hard drive in it. That's that's pretty cool. So, so that's just one of the aspects of customer service that is out there. Let's talk about another. So the other thing I had for you guys was the other day I placed an order at Amazon, ordered a laptop, kind of interesting to order a laptop from there, but had to have it in a day, two days, something like that, and couldn't get it anywhere else. So I had to get it from there, didn't have a choice. So when I ordered it from Amazon, it didn't show up on time, got stuck. So it got stuck in somewhere up north. I don't remember where, but UPS had it. UPS was saying it didn't go anywhere. Well, I complained to Amazon. I didn't know what they were doing. I just said, cancel the order, ship me another one, send it to me next day. That way I can have it. They said, no, we're not gonna do that. How about we do this for you, sir? We're going to refund the order and send you a laptop. I said, no way. What, what are you talking about? They said, no, sir. When you get the laptop, just keep it. Okay. Why? Well, we're sorry it showed up late. <laughs> Don't. What do you say to that? No? I mean, you give them a little bit of confusion, but what do you really say? So... The way that some of these bigger companies are able to provide customer service and just throwing things at their customers 
we have to keep that in mind as the smaller businesses because we can't just throw everything at our customers. We have to provide exceptional service as our customer service give. We can't just throw things at them and take those losses. So uh, maybe this is a kind of a part two to customer service. But it, it just it falls in the same line in our business. Everything in IT has to deal with service. So something I wanted to talk about. We definitely want to think about in our businesses how we're taking care of them. Because these guys with money, the big box stores, they're throwing everything at them. They, they suck in store. But the managers are powered with free stuff. And free stuff makes people happy. So what can we do in turn to make it so that we don't have to give out free stuff? So focusing back on customer service, we have to think about what is right. The integrity of the situation is more than anything. Are you taking care of your customer for the right reasons? Are you taking care of the customer for the right reasons? You know, having integrity is the biggest part of this. So doing the right thing and doing what's best for them just ends up happening. And what's that for again? A computer and a monitor. Oh, for who? Bus driver and Mr. Waters. Oh, the bus driver, Mr. Waters. Are you doing video? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God.